Hello and welcome to a short impulse on managing diversity. In the following video, I will give a little insight into the theoretical concept and tools of the perception of differences in our learners group. My name is Elke Zalai and as a graduate of the University of Natural Resources and Life Sciences, I have been involved in thinking about the three dimensions of sustainability for more than 20 years. A managing diversity certificate and my e-learning expertise helps me to deal with it. As an entrepreneur and scientist, I work in interdisciplinary way with different people and organizational cultures. These are closely linked to managing diversity. From my research and work experience, I believe that diversity and the perception of diversity are relevant to understand sustainable development as a mindset. Managing diversity makes it possible to achieve the sustainable development goals with different methods and approach. We see diversity in every learning group, in adult education as well as in our work with children and young people. We can close our eyes and create common mindset with little success or we can understand and use diversity as an opportunity by reflecting on our own person and culture. The framework and the international UN agreement on the sustainable development goals illustrate the importance of diversity and how to deal with it when achieving the goals. The focus of this unit is on goals one, four, five, 12, and 13. The goals illustrate the social links to ecological and economic goals that can only be achieved globally if we work together. And this requires a reflection and non-discriminatory approach to differences. The diversity concept comes from the Anglo-American civil human rights movements of the 1960s. This focused on multiple discrimination against women and people of color, for example. This acted as an exclusion in many areas of society, such as education, access to employment and much more. The different social criteria are often used in a stereotypical way, but for sustainable development, we need a non-discriminatory environment to engage all persons in a positive way. The diversity wheel shown here, which also comes from the Anglo-American movement, makes it easier for us to see which social categories exist in our global society. The four levels of diversity never fully affected all people, but they do illustrate the mechanism of exclusion and inclusion that affect our different societies. As a tool, the diversity wheel can help to develop our own learning and teaching materials in a non-discriminatory way, which includes different social groups and addresses to different individuals. The tool also helps to review materials and didactic ideas in order to address many learners in a non-discriminatory way. The concept of managing diversity can be used in learning and training concepts. It offers methods and a framework for involving different people through a good choice of topics or suitable learning settings, for example. It offers also op opportunities to encourage people to incorporate their own everyday knowledge in their learning experience. 
Diversity also had to do with cultural differences, which need to be worked in order to promote a sustainable mindset. Awareness of cultural diversity makes it possible to use these differences for solutions. It is also a basic for making social, economic and ecological goals achievable with projects and ideas depending on the cultural and living environment. Nobody can offer solutions that are suitable for everyone. So we can use managing diversity to create possibilities for engagement. Managing diversity tools as a managing management tools makes it possible to work from analyzing to designing good learning spaces also in an online learning setting. This requires knowledge of diversity and the will to reflect what on one's own attitude towards other people, learners, and different cultures. This section of the mood you will find a small selection of links and information to get started in managing diversity or to deepen your own knowledge on this topic. Your own teaching practice and experience complement the tips on tools and offered which are offered here in the MOOC. I wish everyone uh, every success with the implementation of managing diversity into our learning settings. Let's sum it up. Managing diversity requires general willingness and, additionally, knowledge of social and ethical issues and factual and methodological knowledge as a base for successful implementation. SDG implementation needs a non-discriminatory approach and diversity is everywhere. We need to deal with it productively. Finally, diversity is an opportunity to develop a more sustainable mindset.